this point in our service, we want to pray together. Last week, on our Zoom service together, we had highlights from people who shared their story from different areas of our fellowship. And I want to pray into those areas, particularly since there's been so much change, even in the last seven days, for those people and those working in our different areas of national life. Let's pray together. At the outside, we renew our trust in you, Lord Jesus. You will, you have promised and you do hear us. And we know that prayer is powerful. It helps us to trust, to be still. And we know that you are reigning and ruling. You're seated at the right hand of the Father. And in all that you are governing and overseeing in this universe on our planet, from the mighty and the great, you're also wonderfully aware of every detail that seems small and insignificant not to you. Into that, into you, we pray. In the change that we're all experiencing and have this week, of renewed lockdown of education, schools, for most being now at home learning, for our medical staff who are hard pressed, for those caring in nursing homes and care homes, for individual families waiting and wondering if their loved ones will make it, we pray. And for those walking through grief and mourning, we pray. Thank you for our schools, their leaders and leadership and governors, teachers and teaching staff, Lord, we know that for many the schools are shut and education is at home, but schools are open for key workers and those vulnerable. Thank you for the continued care and skill and expertise and fortitude of our schools and school staff. In all that they've been asked to plan for and had to readapt at such short notice, may they not lose heart. We pray for our children and students for whom there is disruption and change. And yet we pray that as they study and learn, they won't be distracted or lose focus or have anything that is lost or robbed from them. We uphold them and contend for them and ask your blessing on them. May they thrive and even more than survive through this time. And we pray extra grace and help for their parents and families at home. We thank you for our medical teams, for nurses and doctors, porters, administrators and managers. We thank you for all those who are working so hard to vaccinate. We pray for that whole process, that the skill and the, effect, the, the effectiveness of this vaccine would be able to be rolled out even faster than hoped. May nothing cause that to stop or cease. Father, we pray for, for those vulnerable in our community, particularly in care homes, care homes who don't quite understand why visitors have dried up, why each day is the same as the next and the last. We pray that the vulnerable and the weak would be particularly cared for and supported and surrounded. And I pray, Holy Spirit, you would fill each of us afresh, even as I pray now. Thank you that your love casts out all fear. Thank you that the repeated words of scripture again and again, do not be afraid, I am with you. We recognize it's in the good times we perhaps don't ponder on these things, but in the times we are stretched, we cling most dearly to these things which are true. May each one of us 
apprehend and know and rediscover that your word is like a rock which will not be shaken. That your word is sweet, sweeter than honey on our lips. That it is good, it nourishes and sustains us even more than any food we can consume. We pray together now in the name of Jesus. Amen.